I'm going to take you to a place that is a hidden gem for outdoorsmen. A place that is too far for most and too harsh for the unready. But if you're feeling up for an adventure, it's not fishing you'll be doing, but catching. Just an absolute unit. Oh. It's wildlife will excite you, it's isolation will soothe you, and if you can stand the mosquitoes, you'll be begging to come back again and again. Welcome to the Northwoods on Rainy Lake. Good day, fishing freaks, and welcome back to the channel. You guys are in for a treat this week because we are going to one of my favorite places in the world to go fish and just hang out in the outdoors. That is the Possum Lodge here up on Rainy Lake in Ontario, Canada. I love this place for a lot of reasons, but one of my main reasons is the just multitude of species in the Northwoods that you can catch. You've got the Northern Pike, you've got walleye, there's big crappies up here, there's perch, there's lake trout, and then there's obviously the, the smallmouth, and then they have got mosquitoes out the wazoo, especially this year, there's been a bad hatch of them. So today, guys, what we're gonna be doing is going out and doing the classic, catching walleye. All right, now, if you've never caught a walleye, we're gonna show you how to do it today, but this is, hands down, the best freshwater fish I've ever had in North America, and it is, it is just by far, the ultimate for making a golden crispy. So that's what we're gonna be doing today, guys. And we're gonna be exploring the amazing Rainy Lake. I've got my buddy Trey up here, I've got dad here, and he has brought, for the first time ever, his boat. This is the first time we are taking an, our actual vessel up here. Let's get out on the water, let's go try to find some walleyes, let's, let's explore some, some techniques, and let's catch them. Let's see. Smallmouth on a top water and a keeper walleye. Jimmy. I don't think. Yeah, that, that'll, that'll go in the box. Oh, buddy. yeah, bud. That's going to go in the box, box. I think so. Uh, you didn't spot lock it. You cruised it. Oh, I did. Apologize. Alright All right, guys, first walleye of the trip right there. And I think that one might fall into our slot to keep. So let's check it out. Mind those teeth. I knew when it didn't come up jump, we had a potential contender here. Oh man, he's a 19. He's a 19, we're gonna have to throw him back. This isn't fair. Yeah, 19 incher. Is there a lot of them? No. no. Small little group. And the ones that we did see, they were like, they were like a foot off the bottom. Yeah. And like, right where they should be. 15, 14, yeah. yeah. First walleye capture, guys. It was too big though, too big. Can only keep one a day. So the goal is for everybody to capture 
they're one walleye. Ted has strict rules about this. He's already come by and checked us once. He's kind of like the game warden. Comes by, you got your walleye yet? Better get your walleye. Quit smallmouth fishing, do some walleye fishing. Because you can only get one. So it, it takes the effort of everybody to make it happen. That's what's cool about the cabin. Everybody's got, you know, a, a job to do and everyone's job at the end of the day is to catch a walleye each day you're here. So we're gonna do that. We might stray, do a little smallmouth fish. You know, I know Trey is, he just got a topwater bite a while ago and you know how that can be. That'll take you down a rabbit hole. But at the end of this day, folks, we will have some walleye to clean and cook and there ain't nothing better to eat than that, especially in the Northwoods. As I take you along on these Northwoods videos, I'm gonna show you the specific areas that we look for on these different species that we're going after. And today is all about the walleye. At this time of year, what we're looking for with walleye is deeper water coming out of spawning areas, access to bait, and usually for the last five years I've been up here, you want to look at 8 to 15 foot in depth. There's lots of ways that you can target walleye by boat, and by far the most popular is trolling, using a, a bottom bouncing harness of some sort and getting it in that depth at eight to 15 foot this time of year and just covering water with that. And most people use night crawlers and leeches and this is just walleye candy. They eat that stuff up. But what I have found over the years is that they will eat bass lures too. Even though they seem to move pretty slow and live close to the bottom, they will come out and attack a bait if it looks good. So I always come loaded with lots of jig heads when I come up here because you're gonna lose jig heads on these rocks. But one eighth ounce up to a quarter ounce, just depending on the depth and putting a small little swim bait on there, you're guaranteed to catch just about everything in the lake. Oh yeah. I saw him flash on it when it landed. Yeah, just get it on top of those boulders. Yeah. Let it sit. It's right below the boat. Yeah. It's right out in front. It's two of them. Oh, I got one on, dude. I literally came unhooked from a rock in a oh, it's a pike. Uh-oh. This might not go well. Piked up. Oh yeah. Hiked up. Northern. Northern, baby. Ah. Oh, you okay? Yeah, he, he, un, he ungrabbed it and it, uh, I, I apologize. That thing literally took it out of a rock for me. It's crazy. But the biggest tip I've learned with walleye, just like going from bass fishing to crappie fishing, you gotta slow down a little bit. You wanna go about half speed as you would fishing for bass and give those, those fish a chance that normally just sit there and wait for bait to come to them. Give them a chance to get over there and grab that bait that looks good to them. If you reel it really fast, they're not gonna be as aggressive as a bass will or a pike will. You gotta let it sit for just a little bit longer or just slow your retrieve down a little bit more. Oh, had him. Had him on. Got him. There he is. Walleye. Might, might be it, boys. Too big. Too big. Dad gummit. Nice one, eh? Jeez. Out here just catching walleye toads. I have such a hard time not showing those. 
It's not fair. Ah. Uh, come here, little buddy. That right there, I think that's bigger than the last one. Hey, boys! Yep, that's a chunk. I'm gonna see what he is. Throw him on the board. I can already tell you. Bad boy is uh, not gonna fit. Not gonna fit our needs. Oh yeah, another 19. Beautiful fish though. All right, we'll let him go. See you bud. All right y'all, so we are, uh, we're getting some fish on some swim baits out here, some little swim baits. And you know, last season we, uh, we launched this 2.8 saucy which is a very popular size for the northwoods so i'm going to try throwing this uh 2.8 here just on a little swim bait head some eight pound line see if we can get some some more of these walleye and get them in the right size downsize this little bait here see if i can get a walleye that's in the slot on a boulder That is a torpedo coming at you. Wow. No way. It's got to be a pike. It's a walleye. It's a good one. Slime rocket. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a juicy one. Don't you take my chatterbait. Don't you take that thing. Don't you take that thing. You need the grippers? Might want to grip that one, bud. You got easy release. Okay, good. Good, we've been lucky so far with those. Oh my gosh, that's got to be a... Oh, I think I saw the rocket take off. The rocket has left the building. Oh yeah. Slime. Slime. Slime bow. The infamous snotty rocket. Uh. Oh man. Oh, it's being kind of weird. All right, I'm gonna have to touch him. There he is. It wouldn't be the Northwoods without the Northern Pike. See, you, buddy. Oh, guy splashed me right in its face. Where's your crappie hole? Uh, pretty good ways from here. There he is, on the point. That's a walleye. Yep. That's another big one. Big eye. That's what I saw swimming. Big boy. Gosh, they're just all toads. Oh yeah. Well, this is a sign of a healthy fishery, guys that we are struggling to catch a, wall, a walleye under 17. I mean, he is just perfectly hooked in the schnoz on this saucy swimmer. Now, the reason I'm uh, using the grabbers here, y'all, is because they have these gill plates on the side of their head and they're really sharp. So if you grab them behind the head, you can do it, you just got to be real careful. So, that was a little 316 ounce jig head, saucy swimmer, 
let's just check this guy out. Let's see what he's working with here. Gosh, he's a 21, dude. That's a 21 incher. We out here catching them toads, boy. They are beautiful fish. Just the, the pattern. It's almost like a just perfect camouflage. Really cool. Let's let this guy go. Fun fish to catch. Wabam. And that one I'm going to say was, gosh, he was probably in six, six to eight. About eight foot is where we're seeing him here, Dad. Yeah. LFD. LFD on. If it's a walleye, fish. fish. Double up. Spot lock. Let's go, boys. Look at it. He's just honkering down. You got a big one or what? I don't know. Walleye. I got walleye. Eater. Eater walleye? I don't know, Trey. That one looks pretty good. An eater. All right. Just let me know. You slinging him? Oh, I don't think so. Too big. I think he's going to be too big. Dad, what do you got? Put him on the board, though. You've got to have a pike. This is not, I don't think this or a five-pound smallmouth. It's a big walleye. Oh, my gosh, Dad. That's a huge walleye. This is, this is, so this is massive. <laughs> this is massive, man. Oh, my God, Dad. That's oh your PP. It's massive. Take it easy. Take it easy. Oh, yeah. It's massive. Too big. Too big. Dad's got a massive walleye on right now. Where's that net one we needed? Yeah, you guys got to bring it. No, 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 no. We got this. Look at this. This is a big boy. This is your PB for sure. This is probably like a 27. Just got to take it easy, man. He was up there shallower, huh? Oh, well, he's probably about eight foot, like you said. Okay, eight foot. Hey, boys. We're on the toads. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. Look at that one, Dad. Wow. Whoa. You got to get a picture of that oh, one, dude. Oh, yeah. Saucy swimmer. The swimmer just nailed it. I'd imagine so. I mean, <clears throat> when it hit the water, I moved it one time. Where's those pliers? Here's the wheels here. Wow. Old dad with the pink crappie head jig and the the, the swimmer. Here you go. Oh, yeah. Let me get a few shots of that. Oh, yeah. That's a big one, Dad. That, oh, my gosh. Look at the belly on that thing. Big wow. teeth. Let's put them on the board. Let's see what we got here. Oh, wow. There, you can unclip them. Oh, he's 26. All right, Dad, let him go. All right. Good job. Thank you, sir. We need him a little smaller than that, but that's a big one. Give him a little tickle. Oh, look how he's just staying with the boat. Go free, buddy. Get back down there. There you go. Pitch out ahead. Get me, get me in there. There we go. He already sees it. Watch it. We're all over it. Can't believe that didn't get popped. Oh, there he is. Got him. This might be a smaller one. Let's keep her, boys. Walleye. Keep her, walleye. Keep her, baby. Here we go. Heck, yeah! He looks okay. all, whoa! Yeah, he is, dude, look at that. That's wild. Somebody tried to shrink him. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Yeah, he's got scoliosis. That was a 
Thank you for the assist there, Trey. Mm -hmm. That was a uh, bona fide scope and um, scope and drop work there. And he was, he was all over it. And I think he is going to make it. Make it. He's going to make the squad here. This is what it's all about. Oh yeah. Yep. He's just a 16 and three quarters. Boys, I'm on. Uh, this one might be a little weird to fillet, but uh, stay tuned for that. Oh yeah, that's right. You got the big, dad's got the big well back here. Ready for them big wallers. Yes, sir. Looked like his little friend was the same stature. So you want to do me a tag team guy? Yeah. On with the possible third keeper. He's getting bigger one. As he comes to the boat. I, I like the way this one's looking. Oh yeah, oh yeah, baby. That's the deal. That one looks like the perfect one, Dad. Don't lose him. Don't lose him, boys. Yes, sir. Uh, hey. Yes, sir. <laughs> Catch and cook time. Box. you guys have not seen the crappie cakes that I do, I'm gonna link that video because they are amazing. But the inspiration, the man that showed me how to do cakes, Ted Van Hampty, <laughs> right here. Thank you. You are, the, you are the walleye master, <laughs> and he knows how to cook them up as well. Oh, the pressure's on now, Justin. So I'm we are gonna a do good cakes. Match. He's the guy that taught me how to do cakes, and uh, I've tried to refine it a little bit. Crappie cakes are delicious. We did striper cakes the other day, those are my favorite, but we're gonna go clean them up right now and then we'll take them to the kitchen. Another thing I love about walleye is that they are just so easy to clean. Even an unexperienced fish filet will have an easy time with a walleye. And because most of the year they're living in cold water, the meat is just spectacular. So we always eat plenty of Golden Krispies on this trip and by Golden Krispies, I mean just fried in the grease with the batter. But for at least one of the nights at the Possum Lodge, Captain Ted likes to make those walleye cakes. And it's sort of like a Golden Crispy, but just way better. It's a whole meal in one patty. And this is how you make Ted's walleye cakes. Now these are really chunky style walleye cakes, and they are a mouthful. And you mix your chunky diced fish with diced onion and celery. Throw about 10 eggs in a bowl, whisk those up and pour those in there. And then hit it with a blend of your favorite spices. Then you just mix thoroughly and then take a big old glob and smash it into a patty. Throw in the oven on 350 for about 10 or 15 minutes. And then Ted likes to add a little special touch, take them out, put some butter on them, and then put them in for just a little bit longer to get a nice crust on top. I like cakes. We're getting there. The crispies, these are the crispies. Mm -hmm. Don't throw them away. Because you know what, they're good finger food. Just throw them in there. People take them with their hands. Stuff. Last step. After you got them good and seared, butter them a little bit. Oh, butter them up. Butter, butter them up. Oh my gosh. Butter them up, butter them up. Butter them up. That's next level. Well, we got this going on in the pan. All right, that looks good. That technique. Coming so a little Lowry's. Going in the oven to finish cooking. Oh, a finisher. A finisher. Okay. Right here. And we'll take the other ones out. They're done. And this is what they look like in about 15 minutes. 15 on 350. Yep. Then you bring it over here and you watch everybody fight over them with the secret sauce. Oh. 
Now, I'll tell you guys, these things are delicious when they're hot, especially served with a cold pop. But it's tradition to save the uneaten ones, take them out on the water the next day, and have them for your lunch. Taste test time. I know last night we had these fresh and they were outstanding. And I've had them before. But I'm gonna eat one cold and let you guys know. The walleye cakes. Chunky style with the onion, with the celery. This looks like a burger. Literally looks like a burger patty. Uh, cold fish is tough. It's really tough to take down. This one? Uh-uh. That is... That is the Northwoods right there. The walleye, it's just the quintessential part of the Northwoods. And that's what today's video was all about. So. Nothing better than catching walleye and then having them on the water as well. In that cake form, you guys stay tuned for more action up here in the Northwoods. Mm. Our Northwoods adventure is just getting started, so subscribe to the channel to see more. And don't forget to give it a like and comment down below. We'll see you guys on the next episode.